Welcome back guys to City Skylines. This will be episode 18. Uh, welcome back to uh, the shit infested Groom Lake. Um, welcome back to Hangar 18. Welcome back to Ungreatville and uh, our beautiful, beautiful shithole of a city. Alright, so in the last episode we finally started to uh, get all the taxes kind of going, uh, got everything kind of working in our favor. Now it looks like our weekly income is a lot better now. Um, you know, while it does fluctuate a lot, um, it does look like we regained our population, and um, it's kind of holding at a steady uh, 73,000 uh, people. That's more than what we had when we uh, initially, um, we initially kind of had the uh, crisis occur. Um, so, of course, might watch. Be safe. Hmm. That's, uh, that's kind of funny. Especially right here, this, this dude. Looking like he's gonna, like, fucking rape your, like, he's gonna fucking break into your grandmother's house and just straight up rape everybody. Um, especially welcome back to whatever the fuck this whole thing is, because it's just ambulance central at this point, because you got all these ambulances, some just went down that street, uh, I mean, that's ultimately because I have a shit ton of, uh, hospitals, and yet I have all that, you know, funding going for it, so of course that plays into it, um, got all these, you got a police car in here just watching these bikers, uh, make sure they're not like purposefully cutting anybody off so that way they'll slap their mirrors and shit um of course these guys can wait because they're not busy saving lives um these guys are on their way to uh uh go save some lives um oh boy i thought i just saw him doing a wheelie and he just cut off this uh what is this a flatbed oh no this is a forestry truck um i was wondering why it was kind of a flatbed um, abandoned building. Yep, we still have quite a few abandoned buildings, and that's because, um, the water crisis over here, uh, they're gonna, they're gonna need water, and by the time we even remotely get close to the debt being settled, um, we, those guys are gonna be, you know, long gone. Um, we're just gonna get rid of all this, and we're gonna get rid of this. Oh boy, I accidentally deleted uh, I deleted a uh, a place. So, of course, we're just kind of scanning for more places that we can take out. Of course, I'm pretty sure these people keep, like, in a matter of seconds, build their places. And that, oh, boy. I don't know why I just did that, but hey, add it to the list. So, we're going to get rid of these places on uh, Price Avenue because these guys already paid the price and now, you know, I mean, I'm paying the price as well. So, they don't have to worry about anything. So, alright. Um, we still got some kind of hiding within the city. Uh, these guys need water. Um, unfortunately, the water availability... Um, we can probably up that a little bit, because that's probably one of the main problems within our uh, beautiful little settlement. Um, seems like electricity is actually okay, so we don't need to modify uh, anything with that. So, um, course availability with water. Um, still not reaching out here, though I thought it would... Um, kind of like the way electricity did. So, um, unfortunately, that was not the case. Um, just kind of keeping an eye on the weekly income. It looks like it's starting to decrease. 39.4, 39.2, 39, yeah, it's decreasing. So what we're going to do is we're just going to cut back funding again for water. Um, and, uh... Yeah, we're just gonna let these guys, um, we're gonna let these guys, uh, die of thirst. They're, die of, uh, dehydration. Um, because that's how we roll. 
Oh man, look at all this. This is nice. It's like this strip right here. Especially when you kind of look at it from like, kind of like this, almost. Um, got Oak Street, um, Finch Street, Amanda Street, you got Grove Street, you got Shirley Street. Because Shirley just didn't want to be part of that big ass uh, road anymore. Uh, this one right here, Shirley Smith Boulevard. Um, running out of money. Well, we are not going to be running out of money soon. We're going to be uh, doing some of that good stuff. Um, of course, we do have to still contain um, traffic because, God forbid, uh, all this gets. I, I mean, all these guys, they're possibly. You know, walking walking faster than these cars are even moving. So, um, you know, you gotta have those uh, gotta have these buses going. So, um, you know, it's always a good thing to have them going. So, um, let's see here. This isn't as crowded as I remember it being. Um, I guess. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I guess it's still technically kind of. Um, clogged, but especially here, um, this is a lot better now. You guys remember when it was backed out to like all the way around like here and like around here ish? Ish. Um, basically, now it seems like traffic's flowing a little bit better. Possibly because of. Oh, wait, no, not because of population loss. That's, that's kind of stupid to say. Um, of course. Um, well, we should go get going here, uh, for Ungrateful Street is possibly make it so that way, here, let's zoom, well, not zoom, but, like, um, get it going faster. So I think what we want to do with these roads, Ungrateful Street and, uh, Cooper Boulevard, I think what we want to do is upgrade those to, uh, uh, highway roads course I do not think that it's doable not enough money um, of course we can get it going kind of like this not enough money not enough money of course I think it looks nice but of course we gotta get everything going um, so that way there we go so let's see how that handles uh, traffic I don't know how that's going to do. Here's hoping it does something. It seems like it's starting... Okay. Alright. Seems like uh, traffic's starting to kind of... Go a little bit better. Possibly. I am not entirely sure. Oh, my bad. Um, I think what we should do is get... Four lane road. No. Oh no, we don't want to do that. I think we'll just kind of leave it as is. Um, of course, it seems like it's really helping with congestion out here. Uh, of course, Florence Street. Um, here. Uh, I believe we should change this to a um, two lane one way. Two lane one way. Two lane road with trees. I think we'll modify that. And. Um, you know, people can come out that way, and um, hopefully, you know, save everybody a little bit of a hassle. Um, you know, I wish that they would just use multiple lanes, you know, not just pile up in one, kind of like what these guys are doing. Like, they could easily fit into all four lanes, but they still choose not to. So, um... What we're going to do now, we're still kind of sorting out... Oh, boy. Looks like we... That's a good That's a good sign right there. We are almost... Well, we're kind of getting out of our debt. Um, probably sooner than we thought that we were. Um, got this little corner store. Uh, Go Nuts Donuts. Uh, two forty nine for a, uh, a very rabid squirrel. That's... I mean, they probably smoked blunts, too. That's probably why, you know, they're... You know, the price inflation, or well, not inflation, but uh, deflation of, um, you know, taxes and all that. All the, they were probably um, hunted and uh, sold in 
bulk and um, trying to think of something clever, but I cannot. So basically these squirrels, these crazy rabid squirrels, they were hunted out in like this area, maybe this area too. Uh, maybe even over by the lake. Maybe they were just naturally rabid because, you know, they're kind of like an alien experiment uh, from Groom Lake. Uh, not only gone wrong, but gone sexual, um, as some of those apparent pranks go. Um, and... Um, Basically, they were hunted in bulk, and they were sold for, uh, I want to say, maybe like 99 cents, not even. And then, of course, that, that whole crisis hit the city. Oh, man, look at all this. That crisis hit the city, and basically, you know, they had to go up in price. So, there we go. I actually made a joke. Oh, okay. All right. I think somebody was actually moving into one of these abandoned buildings. Yep, looks like they were. Um, don't want to delete them. Um, of course, here we go. Abandoned building. Have I noticed the abandoned building? I kind of have a, a no ugh, noticed the abandoned building. I thought that we already got rid of this. So, oh boy. Looks like we're down. Uh, we, we've already gotten rid of 200,000 dollars worth of uh of debt which is really good so um here we go oh man looks like we are really really close to you know getting out of that debt it should just be within another few minutes that we should be able to uh start actually you know working out some of these roads here especially because I don't like how it's kind of going here after just a um just a brief view of this entire area it's so it's just so messy you know like i i think i just want to you know get this area all cleaned up and um you know just try to make the uh, traffic flow a lot better um, especially right here. I, I kind of want to get this fixed up so that way we can have like a legitimate off-ramp going, you know, try to bring this whole, whole thing to the, uh, to the ground instead of, you know, have it so that way, you know, oh boy, somebody's reacting to something. Uh, let's see here. This, uh, police officer, he's responding to wherever, you, oh, let me pause it. Okay. Police car owner, police headquarters, uh, responding to a call at uh, Jim Sterling's house. Um, surprisingly, something has occurred at Jim Sterling's house, and this is a pretty big intersection. Holy crap. Well, I mean, it's not very big, but there's a lot of congestion at it. So, um, I think what we might do is upgrade to, you know, a bigger road try to get these guys you know going a little bit faster it seems like they're doing okay but not you know you know nothing nothing fancy nothing bad at least okay so he's finally at the um sterling residence uh jim sterling's house um he upgraded to um this big old penthouse thing um he owns all of these uh little rooms that in here and um these are all his gaming studios and stuff or well at least uh ranting studios so that way he could have some pointless ass place to rant um and uh yeah you know it's always good to have multiple places to you know do the do the videos because you don't want to be doing the same background all the time i mean i did that with a lot of my older videos especially um Basically, I would go into, um, I know I used my, uh, camper, and, um, of course, most of the time it would be, uh, in my shed. Uh, of course, those were back when I did, uh, solar flicks videos, and, uh, not gonna lie, I kind of fed the troll. Really, really fed the troll there. That was before I even remotely understood what trolling was. Like, I was still kind of new to that, and never actually looked it up um the cemetery in the middle of the city here is full so we're gonna empty it uh, it's got multiple problems well 
you can you could tell me that man i oh man look at that we're just a couple hundo thousand or thouso as i should say away from being able to you know oh boy looks like we finally for the first time in like 600 years oh no now there's oh okay low demand for commercial zone i thought that there was a low demand and then there's oh that's what i was afraid of no demand for commercial zone so they must be moving into uh some of those spots that we had um reserved for them um of course no more room so we're gonna keep emptying shit into everybody else um let's see 48 percent full building is emptying 48 percent full no more room so um let's see let's just get these guys and uh you know try to get them so that way they can accept shit um especially over here oh my god it just does not look that great it looks it i don't know what to even say about it okay so um let's see how it is okay so elementary is okay high school is okay it's doing a lot better than elementary university availability we have 8,000, over 8,000 eligible citizens, but we have a capacity for uh, twice as much. Um, let's see how we are in transport. Um, people use the buses a lot. Like, that's that's crazy. Um, 658 per week, 18, uh, to well, citizens, and then, of course, 18 tourists per week. And then, um, man... I can't believe, ever since I shut down that metro, it seems like we had, you know, just an inflation. Now I can actually get it right. And looks like we are almost up with our $2 million debt. Of course, um, let me see about policies. Actually, no, let's see about budget uh, loans. Uh, of course, we have to pay back. Um, we have to pay... We, uh, we have to pay back... All of this, it was like a $200,000 loan, and um, of course we are slowly, and yet again, but surely, paying that off, so um, that's always good. That's good. I don't even know why I bothered taking that loan. Um, it was a really dumb decision. Alright, all of, oh wow, what is this over here? Beautiful sunrise. Um... Okay. Area 51. Hangar 18. I wish I could... I mean, I can modify it in the uh, the editor, but I don't know about, you know, right now. And, of course, that plane just did a massive, uh, basically a 180 turn. Really nice. And uh, he's going for takeoff. He just pushed everybody out the side. He's going to crash into these... Oh, nope, he's not going to crash into these buildings. He just did a sick... Uh, trick you know looks like you know this guy he he um he pushed everybody out too he was going for the buildings uh yelling aloha snack bar but then he realized that maybe you know it's just better off not to actually do anything um so it looks like we actually have money now right yeah guys so um of course we can now actually do something about first let's do something about right here because this is this is just disgusting um of course let's get it upgraded to a multi-lane road um of course it doesn't look great but you know that's just how it is so of course not everybody likes this crap not everybody likes the zoning um Except for maybe one guy, he's willing to um, deal with it. So, all right, all right. So of course, everybody's still kind of jammed up here. Not entirely sure why. Um, of course, what we need to get going through here is a little road. I think that's what we should get going through this beautiful little area. Um, so we're going to get a road going there. And uh, hopefully that kind of diverses traffic a little bit. Um, 
course, it's not entirely the greatest thing that I've ever done. Um, here, we're going to get some zoning in there. So, all right. And then, of course, we're just going to quickly modify this road to intake more shitty people. As, you know, those you know those garbage places do the uh, the landfills they uh, they they intake so much shit and now they're they're kind of working with me and they're uh, trying to figure out you know how to make people you know intake the shit that they have to intake um, but of course uh, especially here people could be you know lining up alongside here but they don't want to pan out and come down here um, Seems like traffic is a lot better now, and uh, looks like we can actually oh, not even expand, but um, let's get some water going through for these guys. And uh, of course, these people, they're, they're kind of like halfway, they're at that halfway point where they can get some in a sink and then they have to like reach outside where there's like right against the wall next to the window. There will be a, like a little sink and shit, so they have to get their uh, water from a sink that's mounted outside the window, um, maybe up here somewhere. Um, okay, oh, that was abandoned, and uh, looks like that was okay, because they, uh, they, they rebuilt it. They're like, hey, we'll clean up this shit, and uh, we'll build a new place. So we got... Gabe Newell here, or whoever this stereotypical uh, comic nerd is, and uh, this crackhead bird, uh, Happy Face Travel Agency, um, Indie Lizard. Um, okay, so let's see what we got going on here. This is all looking so good. So um, what I want to get going here, and I know I was kind of talking about it before, not modify that road, but we are going to try to get I kind of want to get it going so that way I can okay so it looks like we're just gonna have to straight shot it because you know who cares about you know what I want there we go that's what I was trying to get good yeah get accomplished so nope not what I want to do not not that way because it just, it doesn't make sense. I don't know why anybody would want to do that. Okay. So, that's a little bit better, but, you know, nothing, nothing great. But, okay. Alright. And, of course, we can get rid of uh, this. I think what we should do here, um, of course, these people are going to be ramping as soon as I do it. Um, here. Everybody's kind of floating in midair now. Um, these people are happy that that big ass ramp is now gone. Um, and of course, we got this little weird ass section kind of going here. Um, of course, I couldn't modify it the right way because that takes up too many brain cells. Um, so here we are. And we're going to modify it. We're going to make it so that way, you know, it goes off in a really weird curve. Like, ugh. Yeah, that was pretty cringy. I don't know why I just did that. But, here we go. We're going to kind of modify it. Um, of course, it won't look great. Don't know why. It's fighting me. Stop fighting. Hashtag stop the fighting. I'm, I'm fighting with in inanimate objects. Um, of course, that looks okay for now. Um, of course, these guys over here, they were uh, ramped off the entire uh, thing. The whole bridge, they went up there, and they were just like, holy shit, what just happened? And, um, you know, the whole thing just kind of disappeared right before their eyes. So, um, unfortunately, that did happen. And, uh, yeah. Um, not entirely sure what is going on here. So, let's kind of get this all fixed up. 
So what we want here is a, um, I think what we should do is a two lane road instead. So that way, um, of course, there we go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to modify that. So that way it is, we're going to upgrade that to a, uh, a road just like that. Um, of course, these guys, they changed their mind. They're like, oh, that new road's been built. So why not? And of course, we're going to get maybe some offices, so that way these people have to do a really uncomfortable commute to their job. Maybe have a little base of operations, like an underground, you know, empire. Um, of course, it's not that bad, so. Uh, Ward Street, okay. Um, of course, there's no names for these uh, weird-ass roads. Um, we kind of have to get rid of this, so... Uh, let's kind of get to it. We're going to modify that. We're going to get rid of that. Okay. So we're going to go over here. We're going to make that... We're going to make it so that way we can, you know... Kind of get it going like that. Um, so that way when people try to get on the off-ramp, they're just going to... They're going to get T-boned super hard. And, uh, yeah, nobody's going to like it. It's just going to be a really, really uncomfortable experience. But, hey, that's, uh, that's what it's all about. Am I right? All right, so, of course, we're going to try to get it so that way it's not necessarily like that. Of course, we're going to modify it. Um, uh, I forget how to modify it. There we go. I don't know how I forgot that, but, um, okay. And of course, we can, we can get a little road kind of going off to the side here. Um, not the greatest looking thing, but, you know, still beautiful. Especially this tiny little house right behind the, uh, right behind Dead Men's Paradise. So, got this little shopping center area, a really bleak looking area. Um, everybody's still, you know, dealing with all this shit. Everybody's still abandoning our places. So, um, of course, what we can do here is get rid of, you know, everybody that's still, um, Everybody that's still being ungrateful, and we can block out that negativity. Um, here we can do, we can deal with, um, we can up the garbage a little bit more. We, all right, yep, and we definitely need fire because God forbid something is going to happen, and it's going to be basically my fault. So, um, what about unique buildings? They do better with more funding. So let's let's do it. Why not? And then, of course, um, buses, definitely. We're going we're gonna to try to keep an eye on the weekly income. Um, okay. And uh, let's see here. Water is okay, almost. So we're going to get it, and we're going to connect it up right over here. And we're going to kind of get a four corners sort of shit. We're going to get that four corners type shit kind of going on through here. So that way, you know, water can, can uh, flow a little bit better. Um, but it just looks so beautiful over here. Um, of course, these all look like they would be in uh, on beaches and whatnot. But, you know, they're here. And um, there we go. So it looks like throughout this entire episode, we uh, we finally got the, uh, the issue with debt sorted out and um looks like we can finally you know focus on something a lot easier we can focus on a lot of better things um less stressful things things that aren't going to make me tear my hair out or make me you know smoke a blunt which is probably what got me into the mess in the first place um but of course here we are we got a lot of Oh, I was gonna say because there's a. Oh no, that's street. That's a. Uh, that's a, no outlet. So, uh, what we could do here, 
real quick is get a road going in here. Of course, we did have to knock down some houses, but, you know, that's all part of the job. So, there we go. Everybody's going to start kind of diverting, or, well, diverting that way. Um, seems like these people still don't have enough goods. I mean, what do they want me to do about it? Uh, of course, we got all these abandoned buildings. Electricity is not doing great because, you know, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to open the budget panel and, um, not, nope, budget. We're going to max out electricity and water. And uh, let's see where that goes. Of course, it's still kind of like taking a bit of a toll on our, you know, beautiful city. Or, well, our weekly income, not our beautiful city. Our city's beautiful, but it's not, you know. Of course, I just did delete one more person, as you guys can see. I'm not the greatest city builder, and this is pretty much my first... Well, not my first, but one of my first attempts at it. Um, of course, I just did it again. I'm always doing it. That's my... Uh, that's what I love doing. I love just leaving the abandoned buildings here and kicking out all the people that really matter. And really want to, you know, make this city great again. So, electricity availability is now a lot better. Um, does look like we need to actually pause the game and take it down a notch. Um, course, electricity availability. Let's get that back to where it kind of was. Uh, kind of the same thing with uh, water. So... We can kind of do the same with garbage, because it's not piling up as bad. Um, we're just going to... That's probably what I what got me into the mess in the first place. Not only the taxes and stuff, um, but maxing everything out um, unnecessarily, which is never something you should do. But, hey, that's just me. So, here we go. Looks like everybody's kind of lining up to, you know, get on the highway and do their own things. Go get caught in uh, congested traffic. Um, these guys, they don't want to be bothered to reach. So we're going to bring the water right to their front door. Um, almost literally, to be honest, because the, the front entrance is right over here. Yep. But yeah, no, they... um. Almost literally, the water was bright, brought right to their front door. So, okay. Medical is still, you know, a big issue. For some reason, I don't know why. So, let's get another hospital. See, these guys over here, they're not covered, but these guys are. And there's not even one that's near them. So, it's like, I, I, I don't get it. So, it's it's really weird. Uh, medical should be maxed out. Yeah, it's maxed out. Like, crazy. So, I mean, I can't figure that out for the life of me. Uh, 11,000. Oh, yep. We're starting to kind of lose money. So, um, not entirely sure what we should do. Uh, fire. Yep, let's get rid of fire. Um, police, too. Let's kind of get that going there. Uh, education, we're going to leave that. Parks and plazas, nah. And same with unique buildings, because that's kind of unnecessary, to be quite honest. And it looks like we are falling into another depression. Not entirely sure why, and, um, oh boy. Looks like we just hit rock bottom again. Um, basically, we went from over 70,000 people to... A staggering 25 well not 25 like last time but um 20 and see the water is all maxed out who would want to you know just move out you know i mean everybody had great availability especially i mean not over here i mean i could see you know all these you know people that that are kind of abandoning the buildings and stuff Abandoning, not abandoning. Uh, that sounds weird as hell. Abandoning. Abandoning. 
anyway. Looks like we just basically fucked ourselves again, guys. Um, hopefully we can once again overcome that negativity because we are strong. And uh, quite frankly, I'm hoping that we can because I don't know how to fix this. Yeah, see, these people, these people, they are just way too, you know, ungrateful. I mean, they are basically the uh, the center of what this city's all about. It's all about being ungrateful. Um, you know, I mean, I, I don't know what to say. I guess it's because everybody wants to leave. Everybody, I mean, health cares. I mean, I'm, I should be making money. I don't know how um, population's just going. Like nobody, like it's nobody's business. Um, so let's get over here. Let's get a hospital going, and we're gonna see how well that does. Six citizens, heal capacity is at forty-five hundred. I mean, of course we're gonna get another one kind of going here. Um, possibly right here, uh, near the mall. I think it is. No, the mall somewhere else. No, I'm just not looking hard enough. That is. Um, okay. So. Yeah, now I'm just kind of looking for the mall because I'm I'm that stupid that I can't figure out where the hell the mall is. Um. And of course, everybody's abandoning ship again. Oh boy. Oh boy. See, what is it that caused this? I, I just, I'm trying to figure it out. It just doesn't make sense. It's like everybody now wants to leave again, you know? Like, everybody's, everybody just hates this city. And everybody wants to be a douche. Everybody wants to play Walking Dead over here. Um, like, look at all these buildings and shit. This is all, like, abandoned, you know. Got, um... Andrew Lincoln, he's gonna come by in his uh, in his police uh, cruiser, and he's gonna, you know, be shooting up zombies. He's gonna aim his gun really weirdly. I still like the way he um he aims his gun. That's still pretty uh, it's pretty funny as hell. Um, of course, I don't know what's going on with these citizens, and uh, of course, it is taking me. It is a bit challenging for me to right now, at least, to get these buildings deleted. Uh, get them demolished because my hand is literally numb. Um, I don't know why. Um, not necessarily pins and needles, but my hand fell asleep. Um, and yeah, that's just how it goes, especially on Rosewood Street. I mean, it would be more suiting if there's just all these dead people on Rosewood Street, but not, not throughout the entire city, I swear, man. Rosewood, Rosewood is the cause of it. Uh, they possibly destroyed our entire city. We're basically, you know, back at it again. Um, of course, this entire city... Oh, boy. I don't know how we're going to come back from this. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. Um, of course, yes, I know about abandoned buildings. Reject that shit because I was tired... I mean, I was tired of seeing it. Now... Now it seems like we have to look at it again. I don't know why. I, I guess there was a a deadly pathogen or possibly the ungratefulness got the best of them. Um, but you know what? We still tried. And uh, I think we'll try to figure out what was going on. Let's see here. Um, let's see if we can get it so that way they can... Uh, uh, live a little bit better. Healthcare, we're going to keep maxed. Um, fire, right there, we're just going to not have anybody to, to you know, deal with that shit. Um, actually, you know what, let's get it a little bit, just for, you know, certain purposes. Um, we're going to cut down on police. Um, we're going to cut down on funding a little bit. Um, we're, we're just cutting down on basically every fucking thing. Um, we're not going to have any funding on parks and plazas. But, um, yeah, unique buildings, definitely. That and buses. There we go. Okay. So, looks like, you know, uh, we did slip a little bit, but, you know, 
looks like we, you know, we got out of our two million dollar debt and, um, you know, we got out of it and we started doing modifications. We're rejecting that, um, and you know, we 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 did what we could and looks like you know this city's gonna be all right even though we just fell into a bout well we fell into another depression so um let's get it kind of going over here oh man this looks beautiful right here um of course let's see what's behind it nothing of interest um oh wow that's a really long road that goes there goes through there um so let's let's I guess just end it here. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and uh, be sure to subscribe for more content. Share it with your friends to let them know how cringy my content is, you know, so that way they can make all of the sexual jokes about my mother as much as they want. Uh, they can call me a fat fuck. They can um, they can basically DDoS me. They can dox me. Uh, they can uh, SWAT me. You know, do what you guys feel is necessary to become, for me to become, you know, the greatest YouTuber of all time. Kind of like Filthy Frank, you know. Because I, I kind of see myself as sort of a uh, Filthy Frank, but I'm, I'm Filthy Daniel. So, anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching my video, and you guys have a wonderful day.